God, it is your love and your grace that chases us. Thank you so much, God, that you are faithful to us. Always on our side. Always fighting for us, God. Lord, your people should not live in fear. But your people should live in full trust and confidence that we have a God who is alive. Yes, you are alive, O oh Lord. You're alive and He's in us and with us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. You make us brave, O oh God. Hallelujah. Let's just entrust our hearts to Jesus right now. He's here in this place and he wants to encourage each one of us here tonight. He's still the same God, the same King, Lord of all, King of kings. He's in control. Amen. Hallelujah.
Take away your fear. Oh, we trust in you. Trust in you,
never changed That is who you are We make miracle work Faithful God Faithful to your promises That is who you are 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 Promise keeper. Come on, just thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus, for your salvation, Lord. Oh, you're everything. Everything. Oh God, tonight in this place, we give to you all the glory and the honor and all thanksgiving, Lord God, for who you are. You have proven yourself time and again that you are a faithful God. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand clap. Come on. Honor and glory to Jesus. Amen. Then I go up and clap. Gusto ko lang makita. Ang mga seniors are ready. Re. Tarang nga seniors, bulahan ka mo. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tarang nga fathers are ready. Re. Mga fathers, bayo ka mo. Tungod Father's Day subong. Okay, happy Father's Day. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Tanang gina na yung mabakal gida pa sa ice cream. Pagkatapos sa atong panimbahon para sa mga tatay. Praise God. Alright. Paanin nyo yung mga Bibles because today, June 14, Sunday, June 14, 2020, we'll talk about one of the most important and valuable item or gift yang ginahatag ni Lord Saturn pero kung kaysa na ignore naton siguro o na underestimate naton o wala lang kita maayo nakahangop o nat- natudluan kung paano ini mag-operate sa aton nga life and it is about the power to bless so open your bibles while we are standing open your bibles on numbers book of numbers Chapter 6, Basahon natin, we will read from verse 22 to 27. Your power to bless. Last Sunday, we talked about your power to choose. Right? Preparing ourselves for the worst. God knows how to prepare His people for the worst. Your power to bless. Verse 22, Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord bless Lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. Siling ni Lord kay Moses, sambalan ang mga priest, pamilya ni Aaron, bless the people. The son siling na sang aton Lord, kon mahimo na na niya 
I will bless them. God has given us the power to bless. Hindi lang ni kay, I wish you the blessings. O kung bala sa Facebook niyo, God bless you. Kung mag ka mo sa mga tao, God bless you. Okay? Mga wish, wish lang na, na maayo ang madangatan nila sa kamot sang gino. But this is not just a wish. This is a power. This is so powerful. Kung, wala, kung hindi ni powerful, kag daw ceremonyas mo lang ni, wala na ni gin sugo sang Lord para sa aton. Pila sa inyo na kay Balonga, God is a blesser. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. He created man, male and female, and He blessed them. From the start of the life of humankind, God blessed mankind. Hallelujah. He is the blesser. He is the blesser. Praise God. Kaya gin-continue yun isang Lord, gin-promote yun ni, pero ang ibang, mas maayo pa sa ilang mag-curse sang sa mag-bless. Ganyan, anda naton mga kritisismo sa mga tao, mga cursing sa mga tao, mga pagpakanubo sa mga tao, pero hindi kita na, wala kita na abunuhan kin sa maayos ang nantawag na blessing. You will learn that. Okay? Let's pray. Let's pray. Father in heaven, you, you bless this word upon our hearts and help your people learn. Sometimes we think we know it, but no. We, we really need to understand some more and begin to practice it regularly, seriously. Labinagid sining mga adlaw, in these days, O Lord, when we are facing, Lord, the deterioration of structures and governments of the world, the, the threat of, and, and the threat of all kinds of dangers, O Lord, the, which your word predicted long time ago. And we want to be prepared, O Lord, to be a blessed people. So, speak to us, Spirit of the living God. Speak to us, Lord Jesus. Build your church strong. Make us strong and stronger and stronger every day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for sending St. Paul saying, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. We want to be strong. We want to be prepared for the future ahead. So, bless this now, Lord, and bless your people. And everyone will say Amen in Jesus' name. Maglingko ng tagsa-tagsa. Amen. Kung sa pagpungko ninyo kapag pamati daw na bulayan ko maginhawa, uyatin lang inyo maskara, ipaubos lang diyo, tabo nila ang baba, hindi lang ilong. Mas importante makasuyop ka mo sang Manami nga hangin nga may oxygen sang sa mag-antos ka mo. Kaya magpauli ka mo karon ni eh, kinanglanon pa ang lay hands. All right. We want you to be comfortable in the presence of the Lord as we learn. These are important times in our life. Hallelujah. Now, ang context o background sining a verse, the background of this verse is during the time in, in the life of Israel who just went out of Egypt and while they crossed the Red Sea, they went to Mount Sinai. The Ten Commandments was given, and the law was given. They roamed around that area for already two years. When this was spoken to, to Moses by the Lord, and to Aaron, and to the sons of Aaron. In other words, two years to sila naglibot-libot. How many of you know how long they were in the desert? They were 40 years. In other words, this is just the first two years of the journey that they are about to make in order to reach the promised land. So, mo nang context sini. Preparation ini sa ila, tama ka dangerous nga journey. God is preparing Israel for the dangerous journey towards the promised land by starting and organizing a blessing system. That is what it is. He started a blessing system so that it will, it will improve their travel. It will give them a, 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 a positive mental health. Hallelujah. And they will have the blessings of God as they travel. Praise God. Pila sa inyo nagakinanglan sang blessing nga kaangay sining programa sang Lord. Dira nga nagapaabot ka mo nga this world is not getting better. It's getting worse and worse 
the, the deterioration of society is getting worse and worse. You just read newspaper. You just watch the, the television and all the news. It's all getting worse. And nobody is, pre is predicting uh, good things. Ang tanan daw, wishful thinking na lang ang ano bulong sa COVID. Hasta subong, as, wala gyapon, nga muna gina-incarcerate gina kita nila. Kaya wala pa gyapon sila sing answer sa, o solusyon sa aton nga problema nga pandemic. And not only that, governments are becoming bankrupt. They are predicting famine. They are predicting the, the lack of food in the next two or three years. Muna nga, ga, start na kami garden, garden, kaya kung wala gyan man kami kaunon, at least may kaluton kami da. You understand what I'm saying? You are, and we are all, traveling, and we are facing a dangerous future. And the, the answer of the Lord is, when you are traveling towards that dangerous road called wilderness, you are going to the wild desert, going to the promised land. I want you to start by being blessed. Amen. By being blessed. Design ini sang Lord perme nga kon pa ato bangon ka sang Lord sa higanti nga kaaway mo nga ngalan niya si Gulayat triningon kaniya anay i anoint kaniya sang Holy Spirit hallelujah amo nang ginhimo niya kay David so it's not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the Lord of hosts antis niya si Adan hallelujah gintuga nga tawo ginpurma pa lang niya sa duta sa isang Bible he breathed on this clay. Gin, gin, gin hawaan niya. And man became a living soul. You know what happened to, to the disciples? Sang nag sila ni Jesus. Siling sang John chapter 20. Jesus breathed on them. Saying, as the Father sent me, I send you. And he breathed on them the Holy Spirit. Pattern ini sang Lord. Nga antis kita paawayon sa isa ka kaaway. Ante kita palakton sa malbudlay nga dala nun. He prepares us with so much blessing. You don't have to worry anymore. Hallelujah! Gina-prepare kita ni Lord. Gina-prepare kita ni Lord. He did that to Moses. Kabalo ka mo si Moses? Sing, yeah, I don't even know how to talk. How can I face Pharaoh? Siling sang Lord, I will be your mouth. I will give you power. I'll give you miracles. I'll display my power over Pharaoh. Amuna nga si Moses, wala nadlukan magatubang kay Pharaoh because God has prepared him, praise God. Blessed him. Amen? Amen? Amuna nga ang church, gintagahan kita sang Holy Spirit antes kita sugo nga go ye into all the world, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine them kung wala ining blessing system? Kay gusto sang ginoo, the entire nation of Israel will start the journey as a blessed people. Hallelujah! We will face this future as a blessed church. Without spot, without wrinkle, with power, praise God. Pure church. Amunang gusto ni Lord. Hallelujah! Siling sang Leviticus 9, 22 to 24. I want you to turn your, your Bible there. Leviticus 9. Ayam mo ang ang pag-implement ni Aaron sa ginsugo sa Lord pagi kay Moses. Siling diri, verse 22 of Leviticus 9, Aaron lifted up his hands towards the people and blessed them. Blessed them. And having made the sin offering and the burnt offering and the peace offering, he stepped down. Tatlok offering gin offer anay ni Aaron. Una, ang offering sang sin kay ang una gid mayor naton nga problema sa aton relasyon sa Lord among sala so there was a sin offering and then the siling diri burnt offering burnt offering signifies nga gina dedicate naton ang entero naton nga kabuhi as a burnt sacrifice to God of course a new testament living sacrifice sa old testament dead sacrifice it was burnt and then siling diri peace offering notice ha tandaan ninyo na Kaya gin-implement ni Aaron ang ginambal sa iyasang Lord. Ginuna niya ang mga offering, ang sacrifices. Then, verse 23, Moses and Aaron then entered the tent of meeting. When they came out, they blessed the people once more. And the glory of the Lord appeared to all the people. Then fire came out from the presence of the Lord 
and consumed the burnt offering and the fat portions on the altar. And when all the people saw it, they shouted for joy and fell, and fell, down, fell face down. There was a glory of God. Gin touch gin sila ni Lord. Kon kamo man abi, ma journey kamo sa unknown roads, unknown mountains. Kabalo kamo kung ano mga git atubang nila dito, according to records. Many of them were going to die in the wilderness. In fact, almost all the original, original Israelites, Jewish Hebrew group, almost all except Joshua and Caleb. Tanan sila na patay sa wilderness. So that was the, the uh, record. That was the description of the journey. All of them died in the wilderness. They were going to be assaulted by enemies. They were going to face thirst and starvation. Thank God for the rock that gives them water. And thank God for the manna that, that uh, uh, greets them in early in the morning. They, they were going to face internal problem like division, dissension, rebellion of the leaders under Moses. Moses almost lost all his temper. In fact, wala siya kasulod sa promised land. Napatay siya dito sa wilderness. Tungod sa kainit niya. Hindi man galing ka palangit, siguro ang leader mo kung mag-ugta sa leader mo sa imo. Can you imagine that problem? Before they begin this arduous, dangerous, adventurous journey, God goes before them with a blessing and nothing would have been more comforting to them than the guarantee of God's sovereign blessing. Amo nang tima natin karon nga po. Gusto na ko nga tanahan yung mga born again, tanahan yung mga Christians will, ha will have their hearts and mind filled with a guarantee of the blessing of God. The blessing of God. You cannot live without the blessing of God. The blessing of God is the most wanted, the most wanted gift. Blessing paagi sa mga otoridad yin butang sang Lord sa ibabaw ni mo. And we will learn that in a little while. The devil may curse you. The enemy may ambush you on the road. But if God has blessed you. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord will reverse every curse. The blessing of the Lord will delete every plan of the devil. Hallelujah. Himuo na sang Lord. Habi palakpak man kamu ko na namian kamu sini. Pwede ko niginamba sa inyo nga daw pag into. Nino, this is the Bible. This is what the Bible is telling us. There is a divine pattern here that God is doing that before He directs His people to face the enemy, before He directs His people to fight a battle, or to accomplish the job, or to conquer a territory, He empowers them first. He bless them first. He bless kita ni Lord. Amen. Antis ka maghimos ang pagpakaon sa mga nagutman, dapat tagaan ka anay pagkaon man. Hallelujah. Amen. He empower ka anay sang Lord. That's the truth. Praise God. From the Old Testament, then to the New Testament, ang blessing ay ni amuning unang ginahatag sang Lord sa aton. So, let's Discover three important truths. Tatlo ka importante nga kamaturan about the power to bless. Let's go to number one. Okay? Truths about this power to bless. Ipa... Isugit ko anay sa inyo nga Many times, kontento na kita nga nakabaton kita blessing, right? Forgiveness, ano pa? Uh, salvation, provision, para sabi, daily bread naton, blessing for material needs naton. Nami na mga blessings. Blessings are things you receive, right? You receive God's blessing. You receive blessing through people. Sino sa inyo makasiling uh, among gina ang akong pagintindi sang blessing? Raise your hands. Now, Sa Diyos, hindi importante ang material o kung ang mabaton mo nga gifts. The, the, the thing that you receive. Ang importante sa ginoo, ang resulta sinisay mo nga life. 
Kaya kung ikaw napatawad, nabindisyonan, ikaw nakabaton sa provision sa Lord, ginaapinan ka ni Lord, ginalipay ka ni Lord, malulu siya sa imo, inanay siya sa kaaking sa imo, that means your life is blessed. So ang ginapagita natin diri, hindi kay blessing lang, kundi ang pagka-blessed. Say that word, blessed. Sa pagkatubang natin sa future, dapat, you are a blessed man or woman. You are a blessed church. Hallelujah! Pag-umpisa ni Jesus siya, mga disciples, nagwali siya. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Gin, gintag isa-isa niya ang mga ginatawag nga beatitudes ang blessedness. Because blessed, being blessed speaks about who you are. The blessing speaks about what you receive. But blessedness speaks about Who you are. You are blessed. Antis ka mag-atubang kay Satanas, dapat blessed ka na ni Lord. Amen. So number one, sa verse 22 to 23, the first truth there is that this power to bless others in behalf of the Lord is a command. Moses, siling sang Lord. Tawga si Aaron. Ang pamilya sa mga priest, the priesthood. Call Aaron and his sons and tell them to bless the people of Israel saying, notice those, those statement. It is a command nga ang katawan sang gino, hindi dapat mag-travel nga wala blessing sang Lord through the, the, the sacerdotal system, the priest. So, makita natin diri, that it is actually the Lord who is the ultimate blesser. Sige, Moses. Sige, Aaron. I-bless mo sila. Pero kung nahampal mo na, isambit mo na ang blessing ini, in a threefold blessing nga nasambit diri, then, hallelujah, you, should, you, you would have put my name on the people of Israel and I will bless them. Gitsugo niya sila ang mga pare nga bindisyonan ng mga tao, agod ga ang mga tao, aksyonan sa Lord, bindisyonan sila ni Lord. Amen? So it's a command. It's not suggestion. It's not a, an option. It is a command. Sila isang balaan kasulatan, James 1.17, Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of Lights. Nga wala siya sing shadow of changing, no shadow of turning. Hallelujah. In other words, God ang ultimate blesser. Therefore, He can command blessing upon His people. Amen. Sa Old Testament, ginhimo ini ni Aaron, tanan nga priesthood uh, family, nga kamatahan niya, they started to practice blessing people. He blessed, He would bless them. Duha, Duha kaparte ang trabaho sang sang priest. Tandaan niyo ni kay tungod hindi lang ni kay Aaron kag sa mak anak niya, kundi aton man ini responsibility, duha ka item ang aton responsibility bilang priest. Bilang priest. Okay? Yang balko na daan sa inyo nga priest kita. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9, you are a peculiar race. You are a holy nation. You are a royal priesthood. Amo na na discovery ni Martin Luther nga hindi siya kontento sa pila lang katawo sa sa Catholic Church ang pare sila niya. Sila sa Bible tanan kita pare. Wala pa kayo bisi Lord B. Tanan kita royal priesthood, kingly priests. Duha ka item ang atong trabaho. Number one, tawgo naton ini nga intercession. Intercession is when ikaw o kita nga priest, daloon nato ng burden sa mga tao, burden of sin, burden of luck, burden of fear, burden of threat and danger, daloon nato ini sa Lord. Kita representante sa tao sa Lord. We represent man to the presence of God and we say, Dear Lord, we are interceding in behalf of the church, in behalf of my family, in behalf of others. Panawag sina intercession. Carrier ka sa burden sa tao, dalon mo sa Lord. Amo nang high priest sa intercessory work nila, 
they offer sin offering because they want to carry the burden of your sin to the altar of God. May mga burnt offering sila. Sila ang nagapangamuyo, nag-intercede sila. Trabaho nato rin na. Ang katuhan nila nga trabaho, tawag nato rin nga benediction. Benediction means good blessing. Alright? Sa practice, ang benediction sa mga conferences, sa mga secular gani may benediction, di ba? Benediction kay mapauli ng tanan. Ang ginoo magupod sa inyo, mag-fellowship ka mo sa Holy Spirit. Amo na. They say it, they speak it at the last. Sa Bible ya, at the beginning of the journey, dapat nabindisyonan ka. Manang tawag nga benediction. Benediction is carrying the blessing of God and spreading it to the people. Amo nang benediction. Ang, ang uh, una, nga sa diin, naga, naga intercede ka mo, may intercession ka mo, na practice na ninyo na. I know madugay na ka mo, you pray for your wife, you pray for your children, you pray for your business, you pray for your friends, yung may mga problema sila. Panawag siya intercession, you are asking God pertaining to the problem of your friend or your loved ones. Pero, siguro, bangian lang ang aton pag-practice kay kulang kita sa benediction to bless others. To bless others. How many of you know how to bless the Lord? Raise your hands. Okay? When you bless the Lord in, in worship, that means you speak. You speak good things about God. When you bless the Lord, you speak good things about your God. You, you, you say something in praise, in, in worship, you, you speak it out. When you bless your children, you speak something good to your children. When you speak to your friends, you speak something good to your friends. It's called blessing. When you speak to your enemy, what do you say? Kaya siling ko sa inyo, command din eh. Siling ni Jesus sa Luke chapter 6, siling niya, do good to your enemy. If he is hungry, feed him. Pray for those who insult you and bless them who persecute you. Can you imagine, ginsugo kita ni Lord, hindi lang mag-pray, kundi mag-bless? O galing, wala na kita sing naman ang nga blessing sa kaway, takay na ugot ko na sa <laughs> I hate that man. I have nothing good to say about that man. You know, my friends, I have to repent about many, many times nga nagagawa mga bad words ako nga ba, ba, batok sa akong mga kaaway. I have nothing good to say to them. I'm just a human being until I learned that I have to bless my enemy and speak well about them. Hallelujah. Something magical, something miraculous, something powerful will take place when we begin to bless our enemy. Kay uyatan gid na ni Lord ang ginsambit naton. Kag sugoo niya ang mga anghel kag i-implementar nang ginhambal ni Pastor Ray parte sa tawo nga na. Hello? Hello? Ari sila ni Jesus, oh. magkato ka sa isa ka banwa, okay? Anong unahon mo? Kato sa ka sa isa ka balay. And then, you take with you your peace. Kamalo ka mo ko ng peace? Nga daloon mo? Mo nang silambal dira. May the Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. When you take this peace to a house, you are saying, peace be with you in this house. Mga hinigog ma, may himuon gina ang Lord sa balay nga na. May himuon gina ang Lord sa mga tao nga na. Sa mga kaaway na. Another time, siguro, iwali e, e, natin na. Kaya ito na natin gini na. How many of you wants to learn to do that? Raise your hands. It is a command. Why? Because we represent God. Our God is a blesser. He is not a curser. He does not curse. Ginapasibangdan lang kung kaysa ang Lord. Kung may problemang kalibutan, kung may COVID, kung may typhoon, kung may disaster, ang ginapasibangdan si Lord. Siling ni Jesus, hindi na yamo ang status of things. Siling ni Jesus, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I come to give you life and to make your life abundant. 
Dapat si Satanas na pasibang dantas hindi. Amen. We are commanded to bless because our God is the ultimate blesser. Kag sa sining ng mga verses, kung kita mag magtuman uh, sa ginahambal sang Lord, kag tuin ng mga tao sang Israel bala, i-bless gid sila. Kabalo ka bukod ano ginhimo sang Israel? A few a few months before this, si Aaron, leader leader, pangkulitan niya mga bulawan, naghimo siya sang golden calf. Ginimo niya nga Dios Dios, kag nagatiatihan sila dito, libot-libot sila sa Mount Sinai. Hey, si Moses ato pato sa babaw. Siling sang Lord, have, do you hear the sound downstairs, down down the mountain? Siling ni Moses, yes, that is not a a, a Siya hindi man na sound sang gira. So na naog si Moses, pag abot niya dito, nagaparada na sila to sa gila ng golden calf. These are idolatrous people. These people has not been set free yet from their sin. And yet God said, bless them. Pronounce blessing upon them. Hallelujah. Forget about those idols. I want to bless them because they are my people. I have plans for them. Plans to do them good, not to harm them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Bisan kamu diri, bisan ano pang inyong background. God is willing to bless you. Palakpakan natin natin, Lord. Amen. So, sa Old Testament, nangin practice din eh, ang mga, mga kings, they learned how to bless their people. Mga prophets, they learned how to bless the people. Ang mga, ang mga uh, leaders, mga patriarchs, yun ang mga patriarchs, Abraham blessed Isaac. Isaac, and Esau, uh, no, Isaac and Ishmael were blessed by Abraham. Abraham blessed them. And then Isaac blessed Jacob by, by being tricked by Jacob, of course. Uh, nang ayo si Esau sa blessing. Siya may nabilin pa da? Siling ni, 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 ni Isaac sa kay, kay uh, Esau. Ay boy, wala na natago na to sa imong tuntuman ng nagdaya ng utod. So, wala na ginanabilin. Let me tell you something. A blessing for each, each person is a unique blessing. If it's given to you, wala na na ginabawi ni Lord. Imo na na. Ang blessing ni ni, uh, isa, ni, ano, ni Jacob, wala na gintransfer kay, kay uh, Esau. Natag na tuya kay Jacob. Kay, kwanya, kay Jacob. So the patriarchs practice blessing. Mga parents, they practice blessing. Si Jacob, gintawag niya ang mga anak niya before he died. Dito sa Egypt, tinawag niya kada isa. Twelve sons, ginpaparada niya. And then each one of them received the blessing. What a blessing. Ang blessing, kung nasa isa commentator, is like putting a person in a trajectory. Nabutan mo siya sa platform ng mga may trajectory, bala kung hindi siya makadto. Hallelujah! Reuben, Simeon, Levi, tagsa-tagsa sa ila, my destiny. Hallelujah. Ginbutan sila dira sa Lord. Nag-prophesy si, si Jacob sa iya mga kanakan. And exactly if you trace the pattern nga natabo sa mga 12 sons of Jacob, amugid na ang suno sa ginambal ni Jacob sa iya mga kanakan, amo ang natabo sa ila. Palakpakan natin natin, Lord. Moses blessed its tribe. It has been a practice to bless parents, bless your children. Husband and wife, bless each other. Hallelujah! Kinangla na kay Mando ina sang Lord. Amen! We become co-blesser sang Lord. Amo nang ginambal niya sa verse 27. Ma-pronounce mo na na gani bala. Ang equivalent sina, nga gin-tag mo ang kada isa da, ang tao da sa Israel. Hindi ka mo siyang tag, di ba? sa Facebook, mag- gintag mo na na kada isa sa, makaambit ginang tagsa, tagsa, tagsa da, gintag mo na na sila, ginbutang mo ang akong ngalan sa ila, therefore, I will bless them. Hallelujah! Sobra pa ni sa Facebook, sobra pa ni sa Google, ining aton nga ginoo, kabalo siya mag-follow up, sang tanan nga gin, release nga blessing sa tagsa, tagsa ka mga kanaka niya. Pasalabata natin ng Lord, palakpakan natin natin, Lord. All right. 
Number two. Nakamaturan about the power to bless pertains to the components of the blessing. Para sa verse 24 to 26. Ining uh, dapat i-recite. Gina-recite nila ni. It was constructed in a poetic form. Siling sang mga Hebrew scholars, this is constructed in poetic form. Three times gin mention ang ala ni Yahweh. The Lord bless you. The Lord make His face shine upon you. The Lord uh, turn His face towards you. Okay? Gin sambit three times ang Lord. Siling nila, this cannot be used to prove Trinity, but it illustrates Trinity. There are three persons in the Godhead. One will give you such blessing, protected blessing. Another will give you such grace and preciousness and kindness. Another will give you everlasting peace. The Father will bless you and protect the blessing. He will keep you. Jesus the love of Jesus, the, the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace will be abundant in you. Amo nang tatlo kapartida sa sina nga, nga blessing. So let's, let's turn to this one by one. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause you to pay, cause His face to shine upon you. Be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance towards you and give you peace. Tatlo ka pairs sang action word. Tatlo ka pairs sang adjective. Ang nagaperform ang atun Lord. Hallelujah! Amen! Kagining tatlo ka pairs sang adjective nga ni, amun ang unod sang blessing, nga buhaton sang Lord, sa tag sa tag sa kung mabato ninyo ini nga blessing. The, the structure is very uh, poetic and significant. It signifies clearly that the Lord is the source of the blessing. Three times he mentioned ang alam niya. Siya gidman ang source. Amen? Amen? And he will really perform this. Karon, ari ang powerful elements. Number one. Number one element. The Lord bless you and keep you. What does it mean? Okay, ari ang ako niya insight sa sininga verse. It means that God, the Lord, will pour out on you everything good to make you blessed and call you highly favored. Kung ibubuining blessing sa imo sang gino, you will be called blessed and you will be called highly favored. Then, He will keep you. That means He will protect you and your blessed life. Sino sa inyo may mga deposito sa bangko? Bayaw kamot? Aminin. Okay? Imagine nga, nagdeposito ka sa bangko, dasod ang bangko, hindi mo man maproteksyonan, hindi mo maapinan sa bankruptcy, o kung magsara ang bangko nga na magbankran, dasod magkato ka dito, wala na kwarta mo. Kabalo ang Diyos na kung deposituhan ka niya sa blessing, proteksyonan niya man ang kabuhi mo nga gin-bless niya. Ang manangbot siling ang sinang connection that He will bless you and He will protect you. Glory to God. Amen. The blessing of, the heaven, of heaven is about all of the provisions from heaven. Good and perfect gift comes from above. All the provisions of heaven plus all the protection of heaven. Provision and protection. All the gifts of God are guarded by God. Palakpakan natin natin ng Lord. Ang kabuhi mo is a well-guarded life. You are a well-guarded treasure. Hallelujah. Amen. God values you so much. You won't disappear. You won't be taken away. 
You will not be unprotected as you travel the wilderness. You will not be endangered as you travel the wilderness. You will not feel abandoned. The Lord will recite these blessings upon your life. Kagasiling ang Lord nga. Devil, hands off. Kanya nights, hands off. These are my people. These people are mine. Munang but sinang sinang component number one. Let me tell you this. First Chronicles 16, 20 to 22. When they went from one nation to another, ang Israel ini, and from one kingdom to another people, verse 21, first Chronicle 16, verse 21, he permitted no man to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes, saying, do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Travel sila. Taran nga mga hari, dagi ng balance ang Lord nga. They are my anointed ones. They are my people. Do them no harm. Do not touch my anointed ones. Praise God. Sa book of Daniel, hambal dira nga nagira ang Antichrist sa mga balaan. For a while, nagdaog ang mga, ang mga kampo ni Antichrist. After that, nagabot si Jesus. Pagabot ni Jesus, hallelujah. Ang ginpadaog dayon ang tanan ng mga balaan. Daniel chapter 7, you read that because that is your future. Hindi kita mapirde. The Lord will keep us. The Lord will protect us. Palakpakan natin ang aton yung Lord. In other words, in other words, when the Lord says, ah, may the Lord bless you, that is abundance. May the Lord also keep you that is assurance. There is an assurance of abundance in your life. That's first. Let's go to number two. Number two, may the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Okay? Aring ako inside sinning a verse. I study this verse very much because I know this is very important for the church in this last day. Ang po sinning on sinning, that the Lord will demonstrate the radiance of His favor on you. Radiance. Mga babae, radiance. He will demonstrate His radiance upon you. Make His face shine upon you. You know what the Bible says? In Isaiah, I think it's chapter 60, and then also in the, in the, in the epistle to the Ephesians, siling dira, arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has come upon you. Praise God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Let your face shine upon, let the Lord's face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. In other words, He will be kind and gracious to you. This is your, the unmerited favor of God. His kindness, His mercy, His forgiveness. Matransfer ang imo status from being unloved to being loved. From being not my people to being my people. Siling sang prophet Hosea. Kung ang ginobala maghigugma, ang mga unloved, himoon niya nga beloved. Amen? Kaya ganyan siya nagpalakpak. Palakpak inyo beloved. Amen, balak ka mong amen. Kaya tara ni Mayon eh. Okay? When these blessings are being recited upon the people, ang response ng mga tao, Amen. Amen. Gagkalatumba sila mo sa presensya sa Lord. Ang bot silingon, so be it. Let it be unto me according to your words. Let it happen to me, dear Lord. Mga blessings, pero tandaan nyo, dakpo nyo tayo. Hallelujah. We say Amen because we believe. Amen? In other words, my friends, grace of God will abound His Kindness will abound much more than any failure, much more than any faults of yours. The grace of God will abound much more than sins and mistakes that you have committed. Anong pa matiyag mo matubang sa dako nga palabuton nga delikado, dangerous nga travel, pagkatapos nga karga ka pa sa iyong mga guilt? It's good to travel in this life free from guilt, free from the burden of all those faults and mga suknak, mga vengeance sang, sang kamot, sang ginoo. Mga inigong mga mayugidya yung mga bato nato niya blessing ng grace. 
He will be kind to you. He will be gracious to you. Upo dira ang forgiveness ang Lord. Hallelujah. So, kung si Paul pa, we are guaranteed the abundance of sufficient grace. Amo nang kaduhang component. Abundance and assurance. And then, there is a number two, abundance of sufficient grace. There will be sufficient grace. Hindi kita pagkulangon sa gracias ang Diyos sa ato niya kabuhi. Praise God. Amen? Let's go to the third. Verse 26. May the Lord lift up His countenance. Tandaan nyo ng verb. Ang primero, let the face of the Lord shine upon you. The outshining, illumination, radiance. Inia la inia. The Lord will turn, will lift His countenance. He will turn His face, His countenance toward you and give you peace. What this means is He will turn His face towards you. Like He will fix His eyes on you. Why? Because He wants to give you attention and He will be delighted in you. He will smile upon you. Kung ka kinanglan ka bulig, kada kabudlay mga ayaw bulig, kapag nawag ka, wala ka ginasapak. Kay busy. Pero din nga verse, nagambali ni nga, may the Lord turn His face towards you. Nga sang una, natakad siya magtanaw sa kabuhi mo, karon magtulog siya sa imo. He will give you full attention. His eyes are on the birds and the sparrow and the flowers in the field. Right now, His eyes will be full on you. He will give you attention. Hindi niya ikaw iya pagkalipatan. Sobra pa niya sa CCTV ang, ang iya sang Lord. He will know kung di in my missteps, di in my danger. He will know it. He will give His attention on you. Amen. Then He will give you peace. You know what that means? Shalom. Famous na sa Old Testament. Asta subong famous gya po ng shalom. Dira kita nagkuhas ang word niya salamat. Salam. Salam alaikum. <laughs> he will give you shalom. Shalom is the idea of total well-being. It is an idea of undisturbed tranquility. Can you imagine ang mind mo tranquil? Hindi kaya magsali ka pa nung dumasuicide na lang ako kaya ako na ako problema ko. You will have the mental health. The shalom is all about total blessing. Total well-being. Nga hindi ka madisturb, hindi ka ma-stress. Hindi magkurinot ang agtang mo. Praise God. That's the meaning of that word, shalom. Undisturbed tranquility, especially in your relationship with God. Ang relasyon mo sa Lord, wala hostility, wala anger, no remembrance of any fear. Hallelujah. Bisa ano pa matabo sa palibot mong malunod ang barko mo. Ang ginasakyan mong uh, barko pwede ka gyapon makakanta bala nga it is well with my soul it is well with my soul it is well with my soul why because god fixed his eyes on me and i have peace in my heart like the peace that is given to the prodigal son by the prodigal father you know the father when he saw his son far away nagdalagan siya sa anak niya nga nagapauli bala Ginakos niya, gin-embrace niya. He kissed his son. Wala si sing nagwangan, nagsambit siya siyang mga sukna sa iyang son. And then, gin-paste niya ang iyang sandal. Gin-pabutangan siya sandal. Gin-pabutangan siya siyang robe. Gin-pabutangan siya siyang sing-sing. He was restored totally. That is the meaning of shalom. You are restored. Wala si may makulang sa imo. Kuna mo na ang imo experience pala. Paano ka mahadlok mag-atubang sa future? masiling ka sa China nga, padala di, talan mo nga COVID. Uy, kami nadlok. Amen. <laughs> padala di, sa inyo nga, mga bumba di, sa amon nga, made in China, hindi mo na siya maglupok. God will take care of you. God will take care of you. In other words, we have an assurance of eternal peace. That is what it is saying. God will assure you of eternal peace. Amen? Okay, let's go to the last. 
The third truth about power to bless. That it is also a covenant with God to bless. You know what is a covenant? An agreement. An agreement. Verse 27, are ang agreements ang Lord. Matiin niyo ang agreements ang Lord. Ikaw, Aaron, tanan ng mga sacerdote o tanan ka mga Christians, when you begin to pronounce blessing on people, amo niya ang resulta. You could or you should have put my name on them, on the Israelites, and I will bless them. Hallelujah! It is an agreement when we recite blessing on people. God, hallelujah, will mark that. Markahan na sang Lord. Kag masili ang Lord nga angalan ko ginbutang, ginsambit. Angalan ko ginsambit sa mga tao nga ni. That's what sila Lord. Because nga ginhibo natin na, nga angalan nga ginbutang natin sa mga tao nga ni, obligado ang Lord mag, nga maghimo sang blessing. I will bless them. That's the agreement. That's the covenant. Hallelujah! Amen? Ang aton niya, dalunta ang blessing ni Lord sa mga tao. Hindi kita ya ang mag-judge sa mga tao. Ang Lord, luyag magluwas ang pinakamakasasala sa kalibutan. Bisan Hitler pa ngalan niya. But when we begin to pronounce blessing, when we begin to say the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is upon you, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, Amo na ang New Testament way of blessing. Trinity man giyapon. Ini nga covenant, commitment sang Lord. Nagasili ang Lord nga, ang bisan sino nga i-bless mo, nga i-releasean mo sang blessing nga ini, i-bless ko. Hello? Hello? God promised to bless Whosoever you blessed. God's assurance is, I will brand them with my name and bless them. I will fulfill my promise of blessing on these people. Sagin, hambal ini sang Lord, pagi kanday Aaron sa Israel. Ari ang result, taganta kami example. Sang, pag-recognize sang mga kaaway sang Israel, mga kaaway sang Israel, na-recognize nila ang blessing ni Lord, nga ara sa Israel. Ari ang hambal nila. Numbers. Book of Numbers, Gapon. Sa unhan lang. Verse, chapter 23, verse 8. Siling diri. Siling, siling diri. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? And how shall I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? Ang naghambal sini si Propeta Balaam. Propeta sang Pagano. Gin, Biden siya para i-curse niyang Israel. Siling sang sininga Propeta paano ko mag-curse inang mga tao nga wala gin-curse ang Lord? In fact, sa chapter 19 sang Numbers, gin-rebuke gin sang Lord si Balaam, sila sang Lord sa iya, hindi ka makupun na sa ila? Why will you follow them? You will not curse these people because these people, I have blessed. Gin-bless ko din ang mga tao, ano kay Muya man? Amen? Amen? Numbers 23, again, Basahan ko sa inyo. Verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor son of man that he should repent or change his mind. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? Behold, I have received a command to bless. Siling di balam. Siling niya, nakabato na ko sa sugo. Ngay, bless ko ni sila. And he has blessed. And I cannot reverse it. Amo na siling sang failure nga propeta nga si Balaam. Siya, I cannot reverse it. He has not observed, in other words, God has not observed iniquity in Jacob, nor has he seen wickedness in Israel. Now, ako tingala ko siling hambal. Kaya sunod sa Balaam kasulatan, grabe katuntog yung jating aulo ng Israelite. Pero sa ginhambal sang Lord kay Balaam, Siling ni Balaam, grabe gidiyang Lord. Wala siya si nakita nga sala, ya? Yeah? Ano papangitaon sang Lord nga sala sa inyo kung napatawad na kamo? He has not seen iniquity. Not in these people. Siling diri, the Lord his God 
is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. Wow. The Lord is among the people of God. The king is shouting there. God brings them out of Egypt. He has the strength like a wild ox. Verse 23, for there is no sorcery against Jacob, nor any divination against Israel. Wala sing hiwit. Wala sing uh, aswang-aswang. Wala sing uh, mga curse, mga kung ano pa, mga ano, uh, ano galing ginahin mo sa mga babaylan sa ton? Ginakulam. Wala sing kulam, makadulot sa ila. Daw hindi ka mga piyaw. Wala sing demonyo si satanas nga may nga makapadulot sa inyo. Wala si sing weapon nga ginimbinto makapadulot sa inyo. Gin-recognize ina. Nag-deteriorate lang na after a while, sunok kay Malakai chapter 2, basahon ko sa inyo kay we, will, we are about to close. Nag-deteriorate ining ginatawag nga blessing sang Israel. Kaya ang Israel, wala nagtuman sang sakto nga blessed life. They did not live a blessed life. So siling diri, Malachi chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, And now this admonition is for you, O priest. Ginakigan na sang Lord ang mga priest. If you do not listen, and if you do not set your heart to honor my name, abihan ba my name? Ang Lord ang naghambal sini. If you do not set to honor my name, says the Lord Almighty, I will send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Siling sang Lord, sige ka, bless, bless ka da, pero wala mo ginapasidungan ng akong ngalan. I will curse your blessings. Yes, I have already cursed them because you have not set your heart to honor me. Ini nga covenant, gali nga ini, always under the name of God. Under the name of Jesus. It involves honoring the name of the Lord. Palakpakan natin ang atong nga Lord. And as long as we honor His name, we carry His name, amo na aton identity. Basiling sila nga, oh, hindi dato matandog na sila, mga gin-bless na sila ni Jesus, gin-bless na sila ni Yahweh. They are Yahweh's people. Hallelujah! They are untouchable. Hello? I want you to understand that this blessing is not just a ceremony. This blessing is is actual. This blessing is supernatural because heaven moves to protect all the blessings of the Lord. I will, they will put my name upon the Israelite nation and I will bless them. Amen? I will bless them. So, are ang atong conclusion? Sa hapon ngayon eh. Conclusion ato number one, Receive the Lord's blessing today. Kung isa ka katao nga, you are in need of the blessing of the Lord. You want to be blessed in forgiveness. Grace of God. Mercy of God. If you want to be blessed with joy and happiness, wala na siyong happiness sa life mo. You, you can receive the blessing of God. His kindness. His goodness. He will bless you with what you need. Receive it today by faith. Amen. Number two, we will start practicing invoking the Lord's blessing on others. Ginsugo kita ni Jesus mag-bless. Bisan gani sang aton mga kaaway. Amen. Karon bala pagpauli ninyo. Kamo nga mga wife, take hold of your husband. Husband, take hold of your wife and pronounce a blessing upon them. The Lord, may the Lord bless you and keep you. He will protect you from COVID. Hallelujah. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious and kind to you. May the Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. Amen? You invoke the blessing. Let's bless our family, our children. Let's bless our, our barangay. Let's bless our city, mayor, and our province, the governor. Let's bless this Philippines, Philippine nation. Hindi na kinanglan mo. Sali kita pinangayos ang bulig sa gwa. Ang Diyos po sa atun diri kung kita mag The Lord will bless the people of the Philippines. Do you agree? Sa naligad lang si Mana, nag-share kami sa, nag-prayer kami sa PGCAG, sa Zoom, nag-Zoom uh, meeting kami, nag-prayer kami. Gin-share ko ni sa ilan. From now on, 
We will learn to bless congregations. We will learn to bless people. We will learn to bless the tribes that are not yet saved. We will learn to bless the un unreached people group. We will bless them. Hallelujah. Amen. Sambito natin ni Sayla. And the Lord will put his, his peace, His name upon them, and the Lord will bless them. Amen. I really believe God is behind all His promises. He is behind all His promises. His promises are yes and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads as we prepare also our worship team to come up. Hallelujah. Bow your heads and get ready for this wild journey. Preparing for the worst. Do the best you can, but prepare for the worst. Receive the Lord's blessing today. And then, invoke the Lord's blessing on others. Paramdaman nyo bala mga nagsakit sa buot nyo bala, i-bless sila. Lord, kabay pa, ma-bless sila sa salvation. Praise God. <laughs> Ma-save sila. Praise God. Kabay pa, Lord, i-bless mo sila. Wala na sila sing nabilin nga, nga kahisa. Wala na sila sing nabilin nga, nga insecurity. Tungod gin, bless mo na sila, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We will worship the Lord, the blesser, the one who truly bless. You can stand up where you are. You can reach out to Him. You can raise your hand to Him. Worship Him. Praying, Lord, I receive by faith the blessing that pertains to me. And Lord, I remember many, many names in my mind, in my heart, of people who need your blessing. I bless them. May the Lord bless them and keep them. May the Lord make his face shine upon them and be gracious to them. May the Lord turn his face towards them and give them peace. Praise the Lord.